evening, everyone. I'm Victoria Rosenthal. And I'm Ariel Aponte. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with this week's BTV6 BTV News Update. This is BTV. Our top story this week was L.L. Bean's visit to campus. Here's Audrey Russo with our story. This boot was made for more than just walking. The L.L. Bean bootmobile has driven over 40,000 miles and recently embarked on its third annual Wintervention Tour. They stopped at Binghamton University to inspire Bearcats to hike, trek, and adventure during nature's coldest season. Some students were fans of the brand already. Um, I own a few sweaters and a variety of socks. <laughs> Others were looking to shop, play games, and Instagram a couple photos wearing L.L. Bean's signature gear. Um, it was really fun. The backpack is basically as tall as me and probably just as wide, and, but it didn't weigh a lot. L.L. Bean representatives also brought gift cards, giveaways, and a large sampling of their newest items and their tried and true favorites. Bootmobile driver Benjamin Sandy says it's all about engaging students with their brand and encouraging them to explore nature. Um, really, we want them to know that L.L. Bean's here for them and, and they need to get outside. That's really the message. But with students here from hundreds of different locations, not everybody may be prepared for winter. There's a lot of kids who haven't been to a cold climate before. They don't really understand what they're in for this winter. So we want to make sure that they're outfitted and prepared for this winter season. While Binghamton's winters are long and chilly, they don't stop students from enjoying the outdoors. When it comes to winter adventuring, Bearcats want gear that's ready for anything from downhill skiing to navigating snow piles on the way to class. Uh, well, gear you use a lot, especially outdoor gear, and it wears and tears. So when you buy something, you want to buy something with the best quality. And L.L. Bean ensures that by having a lifetime warranty. L.L. Bean's mission to keep students warm this winter has only just begun. The bootmobile will pack up and continue on its tour of U.S. colleges, ending with the University of Colorado in mid-November. Audrey Russo, BTV News. In sports news, the Binghamton men's soccer team lost their homecoming game to UMass Lowell 1-0, to zero, dropping the team uh, to 6-5-1 and one for the year. The women's soccer team also lost 3-0 to UMass Lowell. Binghamton's losing woes continued with the women's volleyball team losing the U to University of Maryland at Baltimore County, dropping them to 4-15 and 15 for the year. Ouch. Hey, Bing students, are you interested in being this year's TEDx student speaker? The application opens up on October 12th. You'll get an audience of over 1,200 students, faculty, and community members. You have until 11.59 p.m. on October 25th to apply. Get ready for housing sign-up. Group formation starts October 15th. Housing sign-ups will begin November 3rd. Speaking of housing, Old Digman Hall will be reopened for freshman housing for fall 2016. This will allow ResLife to start renovations on buildings in CIW and Hinman. Cayuga Hall renovations had to be delayed for a year in order to have enough space for student housing. Congrats to Binghamton for being ranked 106th smartest college in America. Business Insider rated Binghamton 106th of 610 ranked colleges on the list and the top SUNY school to make the list. Congrats to Binghamton. Uh, don't forget to see God of Carnage, presented by the Theater Department in the Fine Arts Center Studio A from October 15th to the 25th. Keep up the good work, Binghamton. That's all for this week. I'm Victoria Rosenthal. And I'm Ariel Laponte. And, and this, this has been, been BTV, BTV News. News.